one-way garage coming at you. Uh, how to set up a Miller XMT with a Miller Spoolmate 200 to weld aluminum. I looked, I couldn't, I really couldn't find anything on the internet and obviously there, I couldn't find anything on Miller's instructions. Um, so there was a YouTube, but it was a guy setting up <clears throat> a spool, I think it was a 15A Miller on a Bobcat gas drive. So that kind of steered me in the direction a little bit, but it's still not the same. So we're going to spread the knowledge and save a bunch or, you know, save someone a bunch of time. So you're not sit there fiddling around like I was for an hour or two wondering and YouTubing and Googling. and So anyways, yeah, Miller XMT. <clears throat> it's a XMT 304 uh, welder. Uh, so the spool gun is a spool mate. Aluminum. And to hook that up, first of all, to hook that up to an XMT, you're going to need this computer and be prepared to pay because Miller's pretty proud of it. It's a WC24. I don't know what it does. I don't know why you need it. At the time, the guy at Miller or the place where I bought this, the gun told me if you're going to run that spool gun, and he recommended this spool gun, um, you got to have that. So first thing is it, it's got a pigtail and you plug that into a, where the wire feed controller would be. And then off the, the gun, plug that into the, the controller. <clears throat> and then positive or well negative is ground. So when you're doing aluminum welding, negative is ground. Positive is uh, hooks to the, the it comes with like a like it's meant to like bolt into the side for a wire feed like if you had a wire feed which i do up here you know this is a miller this is an old one 175. fortunately this doesn't work with that spool gun but if you on a wire feed you flip the side cover up there'll be an a stud you can bolt that on but i just took a stinger positive stinger clamp so now you got that's your juice that's what makes fire and then the last thing <clears throat> is your hose hose goes to your bottle when you're welding aluminum you want 100 percent argon nothing else don't try it with you know don't be the cheap and do 75 25 you're gonna it's gonna look like junk well it'll probably, it'll probably still look like the welds that i do but and then if you have a if you have a victor it does cfh so this is a, a volume control for gas uh it's 20 to 30 i did find that in the instruction manual in there and i found the best so the settings in here, you want MIG, not stick. Don't try that. Trust me, that don't work. Don't try TIG, MIG. Inductance, 50. Panel, you want to be able to adjust. It's constant voltage. Now I found, for me, welding aluminum, that's probably 8th to 3 16 thick, is that... 21 ish mark gun speed around that three give or take you know you have to kind of fiddle with this um but don't go you know don't max power it uh the, the 21 kind of 21 to 22 and if you google that that's you know constant voltage is what you want to do a uh, spool gun with for welding and they say kind of 21 to 22 or might have been 21 to 23 is the range, and I found that that 21 and you know give or take a little bit. Yeah. So there you go. A lot of hoses, a lot of cables, but uh, if you're welding aluminum and you got a spoolmate 200 with a 
XMT, you know. I don't know if that looks good. I don't know if it's strong, but that's that.